if you're a retailer on Main Street and you see that you're going to be taxed basically on your gross income versus on your income less your deductions of what it costs you to produce that income, you're going to, go ap you're going to become apoplectic. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to believe that the dollar will basically adjust in a way that allows them to make money. They're going to see if there's a dollar adjustment that somebody else may get that benefit but not them. Mm -hmm. So I think you're going to find really difficult, this is a real, real heavy lift to get this one off the ground. I think there are a lot of proposals for major tax reform on the corporate and individual sides which have already been vetted, uh, such as the Simpson-Bowles bill, such as the Wyden-Coates bill, uh, which get rates down dramatically, get the corporate rate down to 25 percent or even 23 uh, percent, that don't require this sort of a radical adjustment in the way uh, one sector of the economy is treated. Governor Dean, I would think you would love this because you know what? It raises so much money. I mean, when you look at the budget lines, when people, you know, examine what would happen with the border adjustment tax, it raises tons and tons of money. Well, there's two issues here for me. One is it looks like dynamic scoring. That is, there's a whole lot of uh, stuff that's, uh, that's, that's predicted that's supposedly going to fix all the problems, like dynamic scoring. And then, of course, when the revenues don't actually happen and the dollar doesn't actually go up, in this case, <coughs> then, um, then the whole thing falls apart. The second is, what effect would this have on the WTO? This is essentially, essentially a protectionist uh, way of uh, financing and taxing. So, uh, you know, I would think that other nations would retaliate. I, I'm with, and then I totally agree with Judd. I, I, you know, I just, I think this is a non-starter. I actually am one of the Democrats who's in favor of lowering the corporate tax uh, dr dr dramatically for comp competitive purposes. To what? Well, this uh, moves very this, close, Howard, to a VAT tax. And of course, that yeah, would be well, WTO compliant. And it's really not a dynamic scoring issue. Uh, the scoring's pretty easy. I mean, you, if you're Walmart and you're buying 80% of your goods from overseas and you're making $100 billion and you've got $100 billion in sales a year, I don't know what Walmart's sales are, then you've got $80 billion on which you're going to be taxed, you're going to get 20% tax on the $80 billion, so you get hit with $16 billion of taxes. Well, the, the comparison I was making to the dynamic scoring was it's also based on reassuring the sector that they're not going to get into trouble because don't worry, the dollar will get so strong that they'll actually make money. This is just hooey. And nobody, you, you can't run a business on that because some politician tells you the dollar is going to get much stronger and you're going to make money. So right. I, I'm against this. I do think that we can go, we can figure out a way to lower the corporate tax rate. I think it's a good idea. My own preference would be just simply to take out all the loopholes. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.